and five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be uh, taking a look. Uh, we're having a little break from the music here, and we were just listening to some Finnish uh, big band music, I guess, from Cake Randolin. And uh, this popped up in my recommendation, and I thought, you know what? This would be a perfect video to do right now since we're in the Finnish zone of things. Um, I came across this video on my feed, and it says, Weird but Genius things in Finnish homes so uh, I was like well let's find out what that is because uh, I'd like to go to Finland one day um, and uh, I'm very excited for that but what what do I know about Finnish homes thus far you know I, I've been covering Finland on the channel for uh, a few years now and uh, I guess the sauna would be one thing that's a genius thing to have in your home I, I would say i would use it daily if i had a sauna here um their bathroom setup uh with the shower kind of just like as part of the room or whatever that's cool it's a little sexy um and uh but yeah that's kind of oh and uh salmiaki i'm sure that's a genius thing found in every finnish home <laughs> and uh salmiaki vodka so uh let's dive into this video here Are you guys going to just stand outside here or are you guys going to let me give you the grand tour of my finished home? Alright, I'm just going to turn down the music a little bit. Alright. First things first, you got to take off your shoes when you come into a house in Finland. Big no-no to wear shoes indoors. Alright, welcome to the Hapoya residence. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of the place and then I'll show you some of the cool and unique features in a Finnish home. All right, the music's kind of unnecessary. First of all, let me just pause there and just say, yeah, take off your shoes. That's a thing that uh, Canadians do um, as well. If you come into a Canadian home or something, you're going to take your shoes off. So that makes sense. I, I think America is one of the only the countries that I know that just wear shoes everywhere, like even inside, but uh makes no sense. <laughs> All right, we got some pictures here. All right, it's really showing us every detail of his house here, okay. Hope you like that little tour of our house. It's small, but cozy. And with all the interior decorating, I can't take the credit all because my boss wife, Vera, has done it all. Whenever she asks me, what do I think about something? I always say, babe, I trust you. You have a good eye for this because I'm totally clueless when it comes to all this. Anyways, now we're gonna do a little tour of our home and just show you some cool, unique features that maybe differentiate from North American homes where I'm used to growing up in Canada and what it's like to live here in Finland and things that I love about the Finnish home. Let's start the tour. You might've been wondering Canadian. why I said it's an absolute must to take off your shoes in a Finnish home. And the reason why is, is that in Finland, we have laminate or wood floors. And if you're wearing your wet shoes in the house, it doesn't do good for the floor, which is quite interesting as well, because in Canada or North America, you have a lot of homes with full carpets, but here we love to have wood floors, laminate floors. I guess it's kind of like nice Scandinavian modern nature feel. Check out my floors. We got these. Yeah, gray it's, laminate, laminate is floor. found everywhere. So I like the look of it, but to be honest, I like the practicality of it because if there's a little bit of crumbs in the ground, you don't notice it. But if it was white or something else, you'd notice it right away. Don't tell my wife that. Okay, the second feature, a really ingenious thing that all Finnish homes have in our kitchen, we have something called wait that was the first feature laminate <laughs> okay all right i'll give them that uh laminate flooring is very popular in canada i just installed it in uh, my mom's home <laughs> okay a drying rack a drying rack okay basically when you do the dishes you know say you have the smoothie or different things that just don't fit into the dishwasher you can just put it in here and let the water drip into the sink okay rather that's than interesting having some huge drying rack on your kitchen oh, space. That way you save a lot of countertop okay. space. And as well, you don't get the mess of the water dripping in. Brilliant, now, actually. That's I, actually we 
Brilliant. That's so funny because I do the dishes in the house I live. I've, I've appointed myself dishwasher uh, in chief because I know um, I, I'm good at it. It gives me time to decompress. Uh, I, I honestly enjoy doing dishes and I've always uh, I'm using a uh, drying rack like on the counter. Uh, with a cloth underneath and then I'll end up putting uh, uh, depending on the amount of dishes a few more cloths and stuff on the counter as well so I can uh, dry the dishes so this I'll give you a, I'll give you two the laminate flooring is not a finish thing but it's uh, everywhere but two the drying rack above this uh, dish sink uh, genius We're living in Australia and they didn't have a drying rack like this and we didn't have a washing machine which meant like we had all these wet dishes all the time all over the countertop. So when I came back to Finland two That's years ago, I, I was said. like, dang, I really appreciate this ingenious invention. I have no clue who created it or who invented it. Yeah, that's but fucking brilliant. Are, thank you. Love I it. I really appreciate having this in our home. And also, it just nicely hides into the cupboard so you can't see anything right now when it's like this. Wow. Built in into the closet. Pretty cool, eh? Drying racks here in Finland. <laughs> If there's one thing about Finnish people, Finnish people are very practical. They're always trying to think of how to make things as practical and logical as possible. All right, now we're gonna head into our shower and laundry room. I'm gonna show you something that's kind of interesting in Finland that most people in North America would have, but we don't have in Finland. If you look at this, this is our laundry room. There's only one machine. We only have washing machines. We don't use dryers, but what we do use is a drying rack. I'll show you. Okay, okay, hold on. This is insanity to me. <laughs> First of all, uh, we here in my home in, in Canada have one machine. It's a washer dryer. It does both things. Um, and uh, the, the dryer is an important part of the process. It gets any dog hair or anything off your clothes. It, it, a drying rack? This is not an, a genius thing. This is a uh, pioneer day shit. <laughs> it works. Let me set it up for you and I'll show you how we dry all our clothes. So you take this drying rack, you set it up. This is a terrible idea. When you don't use it, you just stick it in the closet. You guys don't it, have dryers in Finland? Clothes, what the fuck? Put them all there, make them dry. <laughs> Now, it does take a little bit of extra time to do all this. It takes a little extra well, time. We've got it. Let's take five hours. In our laundry room, not having to have a drying room. As well, it saves a lot of electricity. And third, it makes your clothes last a lot longer when you don't just throw it from the washing machine into the dryer. Instead, you dry them and air dry them. Again, very logical solutions here in Finland. Finnish people are very Not logical at all. I'm going to say... One for three on this, okay? The drying rack above the sink, great idea. Drying rack for your clothes, this is fucking insanity. Very logical, <laughs> very energy saving, and they wanna <coughs> everything. Fuck there. energy. So this is the drying rack. I'm gonna throw this back into the closet because- Oh my God. Yeah, we don't need it right now. I do not care for this at all. All right, now it's time to show the one thing God, that I- Of all the times that I talked to Tina from the past year, she never mentioned to me that she doesn't have a dryer. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. <laughs> I love the most in our home, and that is the sauna. I did do just a video yeah, that's a week yeah. or two ago about how I love sauna swimming, but little did you know, it's not just when you're at the cottage, actually every single Finnish home and apartment usually would have a sauna. Come check this out. So we have the shower here. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh. See, I would be in the sauna all the fucking so day. In our own home, we have the sauna. The little sauna. ISO for you guys. He even says it like a Finnish person. Eh? He's from Canada and he says it like that. There's the rocks there where we throw the water. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Sauna. But I love this guy. The sauna is the best. The sauna is perfect in Finland because, you know, after a long day outside, you're super cold or maybe you go for an evening. That's why I don't understand why the sauna isn't in every Canadian home. I mean, our climates are fucking similar. I would love after a day of snowboarding on the hill or fucking coming home from work, hopping in the sauna. And you just want to warm up. Perfect place in the evening with your wife. Just sit in the sauna, enjoy, relax, talk, have some good quality time. 
it's probably the one place where you can't bring your phone, meaning you just have good old oh, quality good point. time and conversation. But yeah, saunas. It's a great invention. Every single home in the world, maybe not in warm countries, but at least in cold countries, all cold countries should have a sauna. Super nice, super relaxing, super enjoyable. This room used to be my office. Uh, a few months ago, I think last summer, I was still filming in my house in this office room. If you guys remember, these shots were from this room. And as much he as didn't I put any the shots there, it just was a black screen. <laughs> channel in my house, I'm so glad that I have an office. And now we actually turned this room into my wife's office. And well, let's just say that she did a lot better job with it than I did. Also, let me show you something that I'm very proud of. I'm not very good with tools or doing these handyman things, but my wife hated having the TV in the living room. So we had this shelf system, but something that you don't know is that this shelf Actually, in my videos, used to have five shelves, but I actually ended up cutting the shelf off right here and just using some black marker so that the TV fits in there. Yeah, but you have seamlessly. OK, well, that's and away from sight. But do you have two bars yep. across the front of your TV? Film here all <laughs> what the time the fuck? in this corner <laughs> or face on right here. It brings a lot of nostalgic memories. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. Okay. As you can see, Finnish homes are very minimalistic. We love it, just very modern, clean look, very natural, a lot of wood, a lot of brown tones and whites. And it's important. It's important because we really want to enjoy a home because we spend a lot of time inside the home when it's winter time. So having a nice home is really enjoyable. But before I end the tour, I still want to take you outside and show you a few things that in my opinion are really cool here in Finland that's something that might be really interesting for you guys from North America or from different cultures in the world. So I'm going to put my jacket back on and we're going to go outside and check a few things out before we end the tour of the Hapoya residence. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget you guys. Keys, check. Got the keys. One time I was filming a video, left the house, and I locked myself out of the house. So why your your door that. locks automatically? <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> okay, something that's really interesting in Finland is that we have these things called taloyhtios. Basically, all these eight apartments here in our little uh, center, we are all part of the one group, and basically we share a lot of things. So. Even now, I'm going to take you. We have this so little story. So, is Finland considered a collectivist society? Like to have uh, apartments and a courtyard and a shared space or something? Isn't that uh, versus uh, North America, which is a more individualistic society? Like we like to have our own property, uh, make it as tall as possible, your, your home, as many floors as you can. So, I, I is that uh, someone will have to let me know in the comment section. Bridge. And instead of everyone owning, for example, a lawnmower or tools to do gardening or something, or for example, there's a water pressure in here that I always wash the cars with, um, we all share it. So instead of having eight lawnmowers, I don't have another hand to make the other three, but instead of having eight lawnmowers, we just have one. And if we want to buy gas, one person's been designated to go buy the gas for a lawnmower or if something breaks or we need more tools, they take out of a fund that we all pool into and we share that money. See, but check it that out. sounds cool. That sounds neat. I kind of dig that. But at the same time, I'm thinking, fuck, it's, you know someone ain't pulling their weight. <laughs> you know someone ain't chipping in on time uh, or someone's using the mower or they lend their friend to use it or something. Like, you know that there's going to be holes in this system somewhere. <laughs> so, for example, here, this is kind of like a storage unit thing, but lawnmower here water pressure thing, whatever it's called in the English, I don't remember. Anyways, to hold off the car. You know, if we have gardening tools here. Cool. That's that's actually cool shared, which is really in cool, theory. Really not normal in the Someone will pawn that for that drugs. In, that would share, <laughs> but it's worked well. I don't have to buy a, my own lawnmower. I don't have to buy my own garden tools. Rather, we just share it all, which is really cool. I really enjoy that about Finland, that we still have kind of this community sense when it comes to your neighborhood. All right, let's close this door. Yeah. I'll let all the heat out. The last thing that I think is really cool about our house, or something that I really love, is that we have these massive garage things. Oh, that's cool. 
It's not a garage that you just drive into, but you at least have a roof. The reason why this is so important is that when you live in a cold country and it's snowing almost every day or every other day, you don't want to have to remove the snow off your car. So as you can see, no snow right now. And the yeah. second thing it's is, called I, a garage, I actually dude. don't know why this happens. This is a little bit of a mystery. But when you have your car underneath one of these little roof carport things, your windshield never freezes. And if you're in a cold country or if you live in a cold country or have ever been to a cold country, you know how much of a pain in the butt it is to, in the morning when you're waking up at seven in the morning, go scrape off your car oh, yeah. when it's minus 10 out. You don't want to do that. So all I do is just jump in my car. I don't have to wipe the snow off my car. I don't have to scrape my windshield. I'm ready to go. And that's something that's really practical and helpful and I didn't even realize until this winter, I realized, dang, it's good to not have to do any snow or ice work on my car. All right, guys, that's the end of my grand tour of the Hapoya All right, Residence. very Hopefully interesting. So, the, I mean, a few of these things aren't uh, limited to finished homes, laminate flooring, garages. <laughs> we, we have that, too, everywhere else. Uh, uh, I'm not sold on the TV stand, um, but uh, sauna, definitely one of those things that I, I would want uh, in my home if I was building a home or remodeling or something, I think, uh, next time. Uh, I'm going to to investigate what's putting a sauna in a home is like so very interesting very likable fella he's canadian living in finland that's very cool i would like to come visit you guys one day so uh yeah that was interesting so what other videos should we check out let me know in the comment section i'll put your comments in the hat and uh for peacekeeper i'm nathan play safe i can put my arm back on <laughs>